Hello, my name is Tabitha and I'm from the University of West Florida, specifically the Engineering Physics program. I would have to say that I chose this major because I'm really excited about engineering. I've always been excited about engineering as long as I can remember, but I didn't really know what type of engineering I wanted to do. There's a lot of different specializations. What I discovered was actually that physics is kind of an all-encompassing major. It allows you to really delve into the fundamental basics of a lot of different topics. So although I'm really excited about engineering, it gives you everything from mechanics to quantum mechanics and all the circuit design, digital logic, all sorts of stuff like that. So it's really exciting to see how that applies. Specifically for me, that's exciting because I'm interested in drone research. So finding out about why they fly, the aerospace techniques, the circuit design for it, in addition to the programming knowledge. So rather than specializing on one specific aspect of the drones, I have a better consensus of how they function as a whole. So this major has a lot of different classes and a lot of different topics that you learn about. Physics is really everything around you, so trying to narrow it down into specific classes can be challenging at times. So we really do learn about everything between, like I said, digital logic, circuit design, all the way into quantum mechanics and thermodynamics. So it's a very broad topic. So it encompasses a lot. So you'll learn a lot through labs. The labs are terrific because they bring you a concept to mind and then they explain a specific instance where it's applicable and how it works and why it functions that way, which is really essential for me. I really love that the engineering physics program also specializes. You're gonna have a lot of digital logic classes, circuits classes. It's a little bit more in depth than the general physics, which is terrific for me with my interests because you really learn how to formulate what you've learned into a specific design, which is something that I'm really excited about. For example, in one of the labs that I'm doing right now that I find highly interesting is something as applicable as designing a traffic light. You have to include everything down to the crosswalk signals and time it, and you learn how to utilize the chips that you've learned about in class and how to design it as a whole. You get to do lots of different things, so that's just as digital logics. If you look at other classes such as optics, you get to play with lots of different lasers with supervision, of course, and proper knowledge, but there's a lot of different topics. You learn everything from a basic pendulum and why basic pendulum works to learning how to test the power of a laser, which is something that you don't learn in everyday life, so it's actually really exciting, and depending on what you're interested in going into, it's going to be highly applicable for your professional life. My favorite part about the major is actually the interactions with others. You learn throughout your high school, even middle school careers, how math is applicable, how all of your sciences are applicable, all the STEM fields really, really combine, in my opinion, with physics. That's my favorite part. You gather a lot of knowledge from a lot of different subjects and apply it all towards kind of one common goal. So I love how physics really forces you to interact with others. You do a lot of group research, even in lab, in class. A lot of the concepts that you learn can be difficult or challenging by themselves. So you actually, in group work, learn how to see other people's perspectives and how they would encounter a problem and how they apply the concept to the, the assigned problem. Whereas it might not be a perspective that you had originally thought of or even really understood, but after those group discussions, you really gain a better knowledge of the topic. I would say that the most challenging part of this major really is the consistent challenge of the classes that you're presented with. It's with all the STEM majors, you're going to encounter difficult classes. That's inevitable, and it's exciting because you're gonna learn something that might not have interested you in the beginning. It might prove to be a little bit of a struggle, but you're gonna get through it and be excited that you got through it and be like, you know what, I learned it. And it might be difficult for some, but I got it now. It's really exciting to do that. But like the classes that I've mentioned, for instance, with quantum mechanics, thermodynamics, electricity and magnetism, even some of the circuits classes can be rather challenging especially with your last two years, if you're junior and senior year, you're gonna be predominantly in your major classes. So when you're in a lot of challenging classes at once, time management is an issue occasionally. So you really have to be dedicated to not only the topic at hand, but figuring out ways to better understand it and really to spend your time most appropriately. So you'll learn that some of the classes that we might encounter are might be considered almost graduate level for other, other fields. So you're going to encounter some difficulties. But I really look at that as more of an excitement because though it's going to be challenging and you will spend a lot of time on each class, you will learn that a lab might only have one credit hour, but it will take the same as your four credit hour alternative. You really learn that if you persevere through it, it's, it's really gratifying to get through it. 
So something that I really wish someone would have suggested to me is that going into your college career, your first semester, you're generally given kind of a freshman advisor or an advisor that is maybe predominantly specialized towards honors or whatever you're interested in. What it generally is not going to be is your department head or somebody in your, for me, engineering physics department. So something that I wish somebody would have told me is that your first year here, go seek them out. Your advisor might not have all of the answers that you might be curious about. They have all the answers to help you succeed that first year, but to be really successful your whole college career, it's helpful to go talk to someone that's enthusiastic about the subject that you're enthusiastic about. So going to your department head, or not even necessarily department head, but going to so t talk to someone in your department kind of gives you that excitement about your, your major. So if maybe if you're not completely sure, you're gonna go talk to them and their enthusiasm inevitably wears off. I can talk to any of my professors and you can tell that they're here because this is what excites them. So going and talking to them, they can also kind of give you a little bit of insight as to the progression of your classes. A lot of people will say, oh, just get all of your undergraduate classes out of the way and then progress to your majors. Well, it's a little bit challenging sometimes when you do that because you end up with all your major specific classes your last two years. So if you can start some of those a little bit earlier, one, it lets you make sure that this is really what you're excited about. You kind of get a little bit of a taste for it, which is really exciting. And if it's not something you can kind of garner, maybe this isn't the specialization of physics that you're interested in. It'll let you change it. And it also gives you a little bit more of a bright, like kind of some breathing room, your junior and senior room, and lets you focus more on perhaps undergraduate research, which actually brings me to my next topic. If you're a high school student, you really want to get excited about research. You might not have the foundation set yet, but seek out people that are excited about what you're excited about. Go see if you can find professionals or mentors or professors at the local college. Go ask them questions. They'll be more than happy to help you. I haven't run into anyone that I've asked questions about yet that has turned me down. They, they might say, I don't have time at the moment, but they almost always find time shortly later. So it's really essential that you seek out those involvements, not just organizational, but also research. So if there's organizations at your school, for instance, an honor society, something involved with science or math or whatever your topic at hand, seek them out because not only will you find like-minded people that are enthusiastic in what you're enthusiastic about, but you're also gonna find connections, not only in college, but the career after, which is essential. Your, your end goal is not just education, but the professional sphere afterwards. And making these connections now just makes everything easier.